Kulu du Sehra, a tapestry of tradition. Hello, namaste, I'm Aditya, and I belong to Himachal Pradesh. I'm here you to tell you about the famous Kulu du Sehra, Kulu du Sehra, celebrated in the picturesque valley of Kulu in Himachal Pradesh, holds a special place in the hearts of locals and visitors alike. This vibrant festival, often referred to as the Valley of Living Gods, traces its origins back to the 17th century during the reign of King Jagat Singh, who installed an idol of Lord Rahunath on his throne as a gesture of penance. The famous Kulu Dushera is a seven-day-long festival which is celebrated in the old princely state of Kulut now Kulu. The festival holds immense significance symbolizing the victory of good over evil and marking the triumph of Lord Rama over the demon king Ravana. It is deeply rooted in mythology and folklore, with legends intertwining with local customs and traditions. Kulu du Sehra is a grand spectacle featuring elaborate processions, traditional music and dance performances and colorful rituals that enchant spectators from far and wide. It showcases the rich cultural heritage of the region and highlights the community's deep-seated reverence for their gods and goddesses. As we delve deeper into the festivities of Kulu du Sera, we uncover a tapestry of traditions, spirituality and folklore that continue to resonate with devotees and spectators alike, making it a truly unforgettable experience. A According legend, after this return from a pilgrimage to Maharishi Jamdagni, went to his hermitage at Malana. On his head he carried a basket filled with 18 images of different gods. Crossing through Chandakani Pass, he came upon a fierce storm. Struggling to stay on his feet, Maharishi Jamdagni's basket was thrown from his head, scattering the images to many distant places. Hill people finding these images saw them take shape or form as gods and began to worship them. Legend has it the deity worship began in the Kulu Valley. Raja Jagat Singh ruled over the prosperous and beautiful kingdom of Kulu. As the ruler, the Raja learned of a peasant by the name of Durgadatta who apparently possessed many beautiful pearls. The Raja thought he should have these treasured pearls, even though the only pearls Durgadatta had were pearls of knowledge. But the Raja, in his greed, ordered Durgadatta to hand over his pearls, or be hanged. Knowing of his inevitable fate at the hands of the king, Durgadatta threw himself on the fire and cursed the king. Whenever you eat, your rice will appear as worms and water will appear as blood. Doomed by his fate, the Raja sought solace and searched out advice from a Ramanandi saint Krishnadas Payahari who belonged to Dahima Dadhich Brahmin family. Sri Krishnadas Payahari told him that in order to eradicate the curse, he must retrieve the deity of Raghunath from Ram's kingdom. Desperate, the king sent a Brahmin to Ayodhya. Later, the Brahmin stole the deity and set out on his journey back to Kulu. The people of Ayodhya, finding their beloved Raghunath missing, set out in search of the Kulu Brahmin. On the banks of the Saryu River, they approached the Brahmin and asked him why he had taken Raghunath Ji. The Brahmin recounted the story of the Kulu king. The people of Ayodhya attempted to lift Raghunath, but their deity became incredibly heavy when headed back towards Ayodhya and became very light when headed to Kulu. On reaching Kulu, Raghunath was installed as the reigning deity of the Kulu kingdom. After installing the deity of Raghunath, Raja Jagat Singh drank the Charanamrit of the deity and the curse was lifted. Jagat Singh became Lord Raghunath's regent. This legend is connected with the Dusera at Kulu. This deity is taken in a Ratha to the Dusera. It started in 1606 and continues till now. Kalu Dusera is one of the most important festivals in Himachal Pradesh and it is a beautiful representation of the traditions and culture of this Himalayan region. The monarchy system came to an end 
following the advent of the Indian political system. But here in Himachal, traditional Rajas still exist and take care of Raghunathji, the main deity of the valley. The festival is a mega event and helps preserve and promote local arts, crafts and traditions. Devotees gather together to catch up and stock up on supplies for the harsh winter. Kuludusera has gradually become much larger and more grand, which has both positive and negative implications. Traditional goods have gradually vanished from the market. Very few shops selling such products can be found during this festival. The variety in the traditional dance style, Nati, is also diminishing. Traditionally, Every village of the region had their own style of Nati, which was performed by the people accompanying the Devta of their village. Now the culture of performing Nati by the locals for their Devta has almost disappeared. Artists from specific villages perform the dance during the festival, that too in an auditorium. Over time Dusera is changing, and with it the culture and traditions of the area. It is imperative that we devote serious effort to protect and preserve this unique culture.